I'm starting to get excited. But it's fair to say like to there has been no larger than life personality in Portland politics than Bud Clark. He was very colorful uh, a character. The former mayor of Portland died on Tuesday. This was when I was in high school. Uh, this is when Earl Blumenauer was on the city council. I think Thomas Lauderdale, maybe, now known for his band Pink Martini, was a high school uh, volunteer in Clark's office in 1986. The, uh, he ball. once held the title of junior mayor. I really thought that I wanted to go into politics, and, and his office was uh, uh, an incredible place to be. He spent a couple of years working with the mayor, and Clark even helped him get into Harvard. This is the rec recommendation he wrote uh, uh, to get me into college. Many remember Clark for this Expose Yourself to Art campaign that made national headlines, where he was wearing this famous trench coat. This is the coat uh, that is in the Expose Yourself to Art poster. A coat carrying a lot of Portland political history. But the, the coat itself um, belonged to Governor Bowerman in, in 1904. Somehow the coat ended up in the hands of Bud Clark. Yeah, like the, Now the famous older. nearly 120-year-old garment is owned by Lauderdale. He bought it through a Bud Clark estate sale. I said, well, get, can you get down there and put a bid on the jacket? Because it's, the jacket was up for grabs. And, uh, and so I bid and, and got it. Though yeah. he was the front man for yeah. the poster, it was Clark's wife who actually exposed him to art. His wife, Sigrid, was a violinist in the Oregon Symphony. And so, you know, every week the mayor was in Arle Arlene Schnitzer Concert Hall watching the symphony. Everything he did was about the people. Those close to Clark, like his former press secretary, Chuck Duffy, remember why they knew he could get elected. I was there the night that he announced for mayor at a small... A uh, Christmas party for the neighbor newspaper, and I told him I wanted to help. And Duffy says Clark quickly learned how to run a city, and let people know who was in charge, even if it came to letting the head of police go. Bud had breakfast with Jim Davis at the Fat City Cafe, and they were arguing about an audit that uh, that the auditor wanted to do with the police bureau. Chief Davis didn't want it. That conversation went back and forth until Clark ended Chief Davis's tenure over breakfast at a restaurant in Multnomah Village. And Davis kept saying no. And finally, Davis looked at uh, Mayor Clark and said, read my lips, no. And Bud looked at Davis and said, read my lips, you're fired. And he fired him right in the, right in the restaurant that morning. Memories and stories That's bringing the, uh, comfort to those who knew him best as a mayor and a friend. I miss him. You know, I miss him. He was, he was great. I, I wish he was mayor today, and I wish he was, uh, you know, still with us. In Portland, <laughs> Joe Ranieri, KGW News.